Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Today, you're gonna see me open up this blaster box of 2022 opening day that you can see on the right there. Also picked up a blaster of series one. Just wanted to kind of compare them. They are obviously the same size. They're both the same price this year. Blaster boxes of opening day used to only be $10, but now they're 20. Um, obviously, series one blasters have been $20 for a long, long time. Uh, but I think you get 99 cards in um, series one. These opening day are so heavy. If you, whenever you grab one of these, you're like, holy cow, did they put the whole set in here? Uh, you can see up here, it's kind of right on the uh, packaging. There's 20 packs plus two extra packs, so 22 packs. And down here, you can't see it, but it says seven cards per pack. So you're gonna get like 154 cards in every single box. That is insane, 154 cards. Obviously, opening day doesn't carry a lot of value. There you can see the odds. Uh, the opening day par parallels are my favorite. One in every 19 packs, so that should be about one in each blaster box since we have 22 packs here. Um, that would be what I was would be really, really excited to get. We can see they've got some triple play inserts. Bomb Squad is a new one for this year, one in every three packs. Got some rainbow foil board with mascots, uh, variation cards as well. So uh, there are... Chances for autographs, they are not very high. Uh, you can see an open day autograph there, one in 879 packs. So that's what, maybe one in every 40 blasters or so. Uh, if I'm doing some quick math in my head, but I'm gonna go ahead and rip into this. I should have pre-cut it, but why would I wanna do that? So give me one second. I'm gonna have to move this back behind the camera so I can get into it. And I will be ready to open it up in just one second. There we go. So yeah, I know for a lot of people, opening day isn't quite their cup of tea um, just because the cards don't carry much value. And so this may be one of the few times I purchase uh, opening day this year, but I really, really love the opening day parallels. I believe the Walmart ones are blue. Um, obviously Target, I think, has red. And then there's maybe purple ones for Meyer. if there's a Meyer store in your area. I don't really have those where I live, but I know that a lot of you were able to pick up cards at a Meyer store as well. Holy cow, look at that. You open up some of those boxes, like Elite Extra Edition, and there's only like one pack with five cards in there. Look at this, holy cow. I'm gonna have to bust through this quickly. So, oh my goodness. Okay, we should have 22 packs. Let's count this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's 10. Uh, this will be 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So let me move this one down here. 11 and 11. We'll go through this as quickly as we can. Opening day 2022, new release. So this will give you a chance to see if you like it or if you think it isn't worth your time. For a lot of people, this may not be worth your time if you're looking for the uh, big dollar hits. But they do have some pretty cool relics. I was watching a really informational video on One Cent Sports Cards channel. So if you ever... Um, want to do some more research than what I'm just giving on here, go ahead and check out his channel, One Cent Sports Cards. Uh, he has some really good information on the new inserts. Some of the new um, autographs in this year's set are insane. Oh, this is new. Uh, I don't know exactly what this is. This is like a little, reminds me of those old school NBA cards, or there were like some 1990s upper deck cards with like Michael Jordan and um, guys like that. There was all three all three players there from the same team, Lindor, DeGrom, and Alonzo. Triple play is probably what that's called. Really cool, I'm gonna put that right in the middle. That's very neat, get it out of the glare there. Uh, Josh Bell, so you can see the design. Sixto Sanchez, I'm not sure if he was actually in Series 1, um, but the design is pretty much the same as Series 1. It just has that opening day logo in the corner of the card, and that opening day logo is what's gonna be really identifiable for it, and obviously, decreases the, the value just because there's so much of this that's printed. There's a Ricky of Jackson Reed. So we have another insert, an opening day, uh, kind of traditional opening day really, uh, subset here. This is for Jazz Chisholm of the Miami Marlins. So, so far we've got two packs and we've got two kind of inserts or subsets, Brantley, Altuve, and Brandon Marsh. Ricky isn't too bad. I uh, guess I could make a little stack of rookies somewhere. I think I've already lost one of them, but it'll be okay. It's nothing too crazy. I'm gonna try to bust through this as quickly as I can just to save you some time, but this will give you a good idea of what to expect. There's Whit Merrifield in opening day this year. Brian Anderson, I believe he's a free agent. Matt Deerling. There's one of the mascot cards. This is not going to be found in Series 1. Wally, the green monster. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to cover up the rookies there. Swanson. I don't know if he was in Series 1. Castellanos. I don't have all the cards yet in Series 1. And Benintendi in the old school Kansas City Monarchs jersey. That's really cool. 
jersey there. So we are on our way. The odds of hitting like a hit or a relic or an autograph are very, very low, but they do have some really cool ones. There's a Bomb Squad, Hank Aaron. This is a new insert set or subset this year, Bomb Squad. See the back of it there. Uh, this is Bomb Squad card number one, even. And it gives you the a little bit of a profile of the player. Obviously, Hank Aaron was the all-time home run leader until some people still feel like he's the all-time home run leader. Um, obviously, Barry Bonds ended up, ended up with more home runs in his career, but came with a lot of controversy. Um, as we all know, I don't need to go into the details there. So, really, if you're a person who's into opening day, you're going to be potentially looking for the Wander Franco again because he does have a rookie card in here as well. You're going to be looking for these mascot cards if you have young kids. Um, my buddy Walter up there, Pocketa Sports Cards, his, his kids may like that. Toronto Blue Jays mascot card. Um, there's a few players that maybe have a card here. We saw an Andrew Benintendi who uh, may not be in Series 1 but is in this. Although he might be in Series 1 as well, like I said. I don't have all of the cards from Series 1 yet. So if I see one that I don't recognize, it might be just one that I don't have. There's another Bomb Squad, Mike Trout. Very, very cool. Anytime you get a Mike Trout card, you're always doing well. So I'm going to put him right here with Hank Aaron. Going to collect those, Dahlbeck, Chapman, and Ozzy Albies. And this is just a really fun set for, like I said, an inexpensive, um, kind of low stress. If you're someone who's working on a different budget, you can't afford the big time boxes and the hobby boxes. There's an Anthony Rizzo. Oh, here is our, this is what I was really looking for here, these blue parallels. Man, they think they just shine, kind of like the rainbow parallel, but also have the blue border. Um, Nolan Arenado has opening day. Um, maybe this isn't the uh, one I was looking for. Uh, usually I'll get a rookie and I'll say opening day and I'll have a little date right there. Oh, there it is. It just gets blended in with his jersey. March 31st, 2022. It's got the date of the opening day, Arenado. That's the one that if uh, you can hit, obviously one of the top rookies is really, really nice and actually very valuable. There's an opening day of the Colorado Rockies. Looks like maybe uh, Herman Marquez there walking into the bullpen or out from the bullpen. But that's what you're really going to be um, looking for if you don't find yourself a obviously a relic or an autograph, which, as I mentioned before, the odds are very, very slim to get one of those Gavin Sheets opening day. Oh, we have a home run challenge, just kind of <laughs> informational card. That's not actually a not actually a card that I can pick for the home run challenge. There's a cool one of these triple play cards, Bogarts, with the Boston Marathon uh, alternate jersey, Devers, and Verdugo. I really like Verdugo as well. Luis Garcia, Ricky Cup, and then Corona Worth Future Star. So... A few years ago, I got really lucky and hit the bogus set opening day, kind of blue parallel, and it just went really well with the blue Toronto Blue Jays jersey. And so, obviously, the Wander Franco blue Walmart parallel with the blue um, border would be a great match as well, and that would be something I'd be obviously over the moon to get. There's another mascot card. We're sitting at three of those now, blooper for the um, Atlanta Braves. Matt Olson, the last card there, you've seen his name pop up quite a bit. Seems Trying to get a hold of the Oakland Athletics, hoping that they're ready to start making some trades. Not that they're kind of in a rebuild mode. Mazika, Mazika, don't really know how to pronounce his name. Bomb Squad, John Carlos Stanton, that's a pretty cool one. Buster Posey, retired. There you go, Clint, my buddy Clint at Swing Away Sports Cards. Big Buster Posey fan. And we're about halfway through. Holy cow, I'm in nine minutes. We're halfway through. I'm going to have to speed this thing up. Green Key, I'm be interested to see where he signs. There's Arenado, the base card. So obviously you can tell the difference there. The base card with the blue parallel. Kind of the blue rainbow foil. Hoy Park has a Ricky in Series 1. TC Bear. Twin Cities Bear, I assume, is what the TC stands for. There's another mascot card. That's four of them. Muncie, Goldschmidt, and McCutcheon. And now we're on to the second half. I want to pick up the pace here. So you can just kind of see what you have to offer whenever you pick up uh, an opening day. Cal Raleigh rookie card there. There's a Trout. That's the same image that's on his Series 1 card. There's another opening day parallel, this time Boston. With the uh, special paint job. I guess that's kind of included in almost all those cards. There's a Mount Castle Gold Cup. Joey Bart, future star. Wearing that alternate jersey. And then Taylor McGill. So we got about 10 packs left here. And I'll fly through them. So um, we can get through here pretty quickly. But uh, Curtis Terry, Ricky Card, Mitch Hanniger, Zach Thompson. There's a bomb squad of Yelich. Very cool, although hopefully he can step it up because last year he wasn't hitting too many bombs. Eli Morgan and then Yadier Molina. Uh, I haven't shown the back of the cards. I'll 
show you the back end of the cards in here. In this pack, the back of the cards is going to be very, very similar to Series 1. Um, Pujols, Chisholm, there's, there's Slider, the Cleveland Guardians now. And it's, he obviously doesn't have stats, but got a little, um, there's Devers, Charlie Blackman, and Cody Bellinger. So uh, the back of it is basically the same as Topps Series 1. The code at the bottom, I'm sure, is different, 1225 there. And then obviously it says opening day. Uh, because these guys have a different card number. Cody Bellinger is not card number 53 in Series 1, I wouldn't imagine. Uh, because, like, you're noticing I'm not pulling out any of, like, the league leader cards. If you're a person who's opened up Series 1, you know, it has, like, the strikeout leaders, the home run leaders. Um, you're not going to find any, any of those. Newly minted Hall of Famer. David Ortiz right there. Big Poppy. Jonathan India. That's a pretty cool one. I don't think he's in Series 1. If he is, I haven't pulled his card yet. Gold Cup card there. But, uh... Yeah, so the, the numbering is obviously different because there's the different mascot cards. Well, I guess the mascots are probably their own subset. Um, but anyway, Chris Bryant, be interested to see where he signs. There's another one of these triple play cards for the White Sox. Eloy, Luis Robert, and Jose Abreu. Alec Bohm. I always say his name wrong. He's probably Alec Bohm. And then there's Luis Robert again. We're down to the final four or five packs. I'm going to try to get you out of here before we get to the 15-minute mark. I appreciate it if you're sticking around all the way to the end. Have not seen the Wander yet. It'd be really nice to grab his when you consider you get, what, 154 cards. There's Juan Soto. Opening day, Milwaukee Brewers. Looks like they're celebrating a walk-off. Uh, you don't actually see the opening day logo in that. Uh, in that one, Marco Gonzalez and Verdugo again. We saw his card in the little triple play. Kind of three little mini cards there. So I think this is maybe a 300 card set. So the chances of getting a... Jesus Lazaro. There's another mascot card, Pirate Parrot. And the Pirate, those are their own subset there. You can see M17. Not exactly sure how many are in that. Trey Turner. And then Brian Reynolds. We're down to the nitty gritty here, guys. We've got one, two, three, four. This one maybe feels a little thicker, but I just might just be making things up here. <laughs> so, yeah, I should have looked and seen if this is like a 250 or a 300 card set. Um, it might be even a little bit more than that. I could be wrong, maybe 330 like Series 1, but you would think there's a Babe Ruth Bomb Squad. Very cool. Babe Ruth Bomb Squad. We would have a pretty good chance. Dylan Carlson, Gold Cup is pretty nice. And Kiebert Ruiz, future star, catcher there, who went from the Dodgers to the Nationals in the Max Scherzer trade. Uh, Wander, nowhere to be seen so far. We're down to the final three packs. I doubt that he's going to show up, but you never know. There's another one of these. Just one, two, three. That card doesn't even have anything on it. Four. Okay, so that isn't like one. I was counting the cards in the pack to see like if that was a, a ripoff where that's like going to count as one of the cards in the pack. It is not. Rodolfo Castro. And we're down to the final two, guys. Is Wander going to show up? Obviously, the relic or the autograph is probably long, long, long shot with only two packs left. But we have 14 cards. Will we see... Wander show up in the final 14 cards. There's a Sammy Sosa. You don't, you don't really see his cards being printed very much anymore. Sammy Sosa bomb squad. Corbin Burns. Now, after Corbin Burns in Series 1, is usually Wander Franco and not that same collation. We're down to the final pack, guys. I'm going to get you out of here before 15 minutes. Thank you so much for sticking around. Hopefully, this gives you a good look at what you can find in opening day. Um, my only wish is that you all are able to find the uh, Wander Franco rookie card maybe a little bit quicker than I am because I may not find him at all. We've got another opening day card there with the Angels. Really cool, nice shot of Mike Trout. Uh, Shohei, that's Anthony Rendon standing in front of him and everyone's favorite, David Fletcher <laughs> from Eric at Classic Cards. Go ahead and check out his channel if you haven't yet. Akil Badu, Josh Hader, and the final card is Manny Machado, everyone's, um, I don't say everyone's favorite, but sometimes everyone's favorite villain. So. There you have it, guys. Here's what you can expect from opening day. A blaster box is going to give you all these base cards. Oh, sweet mercy. They look like we had about one kind of uh, insert card or special card in every pack. We got some mascot cards. Four, five, six, seven. Uh, Brandon Marsh can stay up there. Got a couple of these triple play. Uh, or I don't even know if they're called triple play. TPC. Um, little insert cards. Bomb Squad is pretty cool. Got a few of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of those. That was the most common, along with these opening day. One, two, three, four, five. So about one insert or special card per pack. Did just get the one 
opening day kind of rainbow blue foil, the Walmart parallel here, March 31st, 2022. Arnaud is not a bad one. Obviously would have wanted it to be one of the rookies, but uh, beggars can't be choosers. So there you go, $20. Not too bad for a fun rip if you got young kids or you just really like getting a lot of cards and trying to build a set. This would be a pretty inexpensive set to build and it would be a pretty fun rip uh, as well. So thank you so much for watching this one, guys. If you see this out in the wild and you want to give it a shot, go for it. Uh, the hobby boxes aren't too expensive as well if you're a person who sees one in a local card shop as well. So have a good one. I'll catch you in the next video.